Welcome to Basic Brewing Video. I'm James Spencer. I'm Steve Wilkes. It's been a while since I've brewed a Belgian yeah. style beer. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm not Belgium. Belgian, and I'm not, I don't live in Belgium, so it's not really a Belgian beer. It's a Belgian inspired or Belgian style beer. This is a recipe that uh, Chris Colby and I came up with on a recent episode of Basic Brewing Radio yeah. in the recipe development series. And uh, it's just, I think it's really good. You want to you want to pour while okay. I while I uh, talk about it. It's only it's a two and a half gallon batch, and that's the only thing I got wrong with it, <laughs> or that I, that I have wrong with it. Uh, it's a two and a half gallon or nine and a half liter batch. So into three and a half gallons or thirteen point twenty five liters of water uh, at one hundred and fifty eight degrees Fahrenheit or seventy C. I put three and a half pounds or one point six one or 1.6 kilograms of avant-garde Pilsner, uh, 12 ounces or 340 grams of wheat malt. I mashed for an hour at 152 degrees Fahrenheit or 67 C, and I did that in my preheated oven. Uh, I did a 60 minute boil. Into that, I added eight grams of nugget, and these were like leftover freezer hops. <laughs> eight, ounce, or eight grams of nugget at 14.1% alpha acid. That's for a 60 minute boil. Also put in 12 ounces or 340 grams of table sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, at the uh, at flame out, at the end of this one hour boil, I put 14 grams of Herzbrucker at 2.1% alpha acid. Uh, and I pitched um, Fermentus BE256, five grams of that, so about half a packet uh, of that. The original gravity was 1048. Fine gravity was 10.02, mm -hmm. so very dry for an ABV of 6%. And when I read the, the you know, it's like, I took the bricks and it was like 12 bricks, and it's like, oh, 10.48, that's not as much as I expected. But then it fermented so dry right. that it's 6% alcohol. So it yielded 21 bottles in that batch. So cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> it's a beautiful beer. It's lovely beer. It smells like a Belgian. Well, depends on what part of Belgium. <laughs> Gotta be careful. <laughs> be nice. <laughs> um, Never been. I want to go. Me too. It, this is lovely. This is very refreshing. Mm -hmm. Very refreshing. Oh, it's getting better all the time. That's good. Golly Moses. <laughs> I mean, isn't that just the tastiest little beer? That it really is. It smells, I'm trying to, is it hops that I'm smelling or is it East character that I'm smelling or is it the malt? What am I smelling? I think it's, I don't know. I think it's the yeast. Mm -hmm. I'm getting more of a yeasty character out of it. Um, it's kind of lemony. It tastes lemony. Kind of lemony. That's got to be the hops, right? Yeah. And it, it tastes a little funky. You can tell there's sugar in it for sure. Yeah. It's a little funky. There's a little bit of. There's a little bit of farmyard in it, but not much, very little, but a little. And there's a little bit of that um, kind of lemony, I'm repeating you now. It, it's just, <laughs> it, it's, flor it's floral and fruity, mm -hmm. but not overwhelmingly so. And the, I there's, there's a significant, uh, bre it's breadiness as well. You can really taste the, mm -hmm. the malt bill, yeah. that uh, Pilsner malt and the wheat malt together. You know, there's a breadiness, uh, there's enough bitterness, it's got the yeast character, it's got some lemony stuff going on. It's it's dry, but it's not watery. Yes. Oh, and I and I um, carbonated these in the bottle and I put five of the little aspirins in there rather than four. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit more carbonated than than usual. Um, well, I have to I have to do something here because uh oh a, a month ago we drank this beer. <laughs> Or we might drink it in the future. <laughs> or we could drink it in the future. But at some point in the past... <laughs> Which is the hoppy, the hoppy raw ale. The hoppy raw ale. They're very Ooh. different, and yet they kind of scratch the same itch in a way. Yeah. Although this is really refreshing. This Ooh. comparatively is, is a... It's, they're very different, even though I would drink both these beers at the same time of year. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Sure. Um, the fruitiness of this beer really comes out after tasting the single. It's super fruity from the uh -huh. from the yeast 
I really get the lemon character in there now. Boy, me too. And the grapefruit of the, of the um, uh, Cascade. Uh, the single is much more of a palate cleanser. I mean, mm -hmm. I get a, you know, it finishes really clean and my mouth feels uh, not coated. I, right. You know. Right. Whereas, whereas the Hoppy Raw Ale does have a silky... Yes. Yeah. It's, it's not... like ice cream almost as yeah. far as the finish. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so drink them together. Drink them together. <laughs> but that's the beauty of beer. I mean, look at this. We've got these two beers that are similar because they're beer. But, <laughs> and they're yellow. <laughs> and they're yellow. <laughs> but, they, but they really hit your palate so differently. Mm -hmm. That's really fascinating to me. That's one of the things I really like about brewing mm -hmm. is that you can take these very simple ingredients that are basically the same thing, more or less, you know, beer to beer, and you get these very different products from them. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful. That's what keeps me interested. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, think that, I think that the wheat malt, wheat malt uh, really helps with the, that mouthfeel. Mm. Um, that's just... That's so good. Like I say, the only thing I don't like about this beer is I only made two and a half <laughs> gallons of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I made a pale ale a few months ago, the same thing. It's like, dang. <laughs> it's all gone. Oh, and I gave it away. Oh. I was like, hey, you can have some, you can have some. Oh, I don't have any more. <laughs> You're too generous. You're generous to <laughs> fault. <laughs> I don't know what else to mm. say, uh, except make this recipe. Make it's, it, yeah. It's way good. I like uh, that very much. And I like the, the, the amount of hops in it. There's a, whose single is it? Oh, Boulevard single, which I haven't had in a long time. But I remember the beer a little bit, and I remember it being more hoppy, a little bit more, a little bit more in your face. I like mm. this better. Oh, wow. Thank you. So anticipated IBUs, I think, uh, 30? Is what we came up with on the show. It sounds about right. I mean, it's got a nice, solid bitterness. Uh -huh. um, it's way good. And table, it, you know, there's a bunch of table sugar in there, but it doesn't taste cidery. No, there's no at all. I don't get any wang out of it. <laughs> it's making me cry. I do get some wang chung. <laughs> Everybody wang chung tonight. Yeah, but. <laughs> Okay, well that was easy. Yeah, it's uh, so, oh, <laughs> one thing I sent I sent a couple of bottles to to Chris Colby and I texted him Belgian singles headed your way and he's like you are talking about beer right? <laughs> <laughs> so Swedish twins headed your way. <laughs> Belgian singles headed your way. All right. I will say this. Yes. One final thought. The more that this warms and and I kind of swirl around, I'm getting a lot more barnyard. Hmm. I'm getting a lot more um, funkadelic. I can see that. Good. Well, get another another bottle in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Cheers, everybody. Happy brewing. Peace, love, dove. <laughs> my, I'm reverting. <laughs> Come and visit us online at basicbrewing.com. You can find archive lists of our audio and video podcasts on homebrew. You can also find our DVDs and our Brewer's Logbook, where you can track and log up to 50 batches of beer. I saw Phyllis Diller the other night, just on YouTube. Oh, I was going to say, so was... <laughs> she visits you in your sleep, <laughs> in a <Yeah>. vision. <laughs> God bless us, everyone. I was thinking of when you... Ah! <laughs> Dad got her autograph. Yeah. In the Kmart. <laughs>